Here's a measure of sleep deprivation. It's called the multiple sleep latency test. It's very simple, but it's powerful in what it can tell us. So let's look at the x-axis. This is time of day, 9.30 in the morning, 11.30, 1.30, 3.30, and so on, 5.30, 7.30 at night. Okay? What's on this y-axis is how many minutes it takes you to fall asleep. So what they did is they took patients or subjects and they hooked them up to proper EEG and EMG, all that gear, and they put them in a comfortable bed, they closed the door, and they just timed how long it took them to fall asleep. Now the three, and they did it at 9.30 in the morning, at 11.30, at 1.30, and so on. Right Now the difference between these lines is how much sleep they had the night before. So this group of subjects had a full nine hours of sleep. Even with a full nine hours of sleep, you give someone a comfortable place to lay down at 9.30 in the morning, and they're going to fall asleep in less than 20 minutes. Notice that this little dip right here at 3.30 in the afternoon, it takes less than 15 minutes to fall asleep. Think about that. Right after lunch... Okay, about 2 to 4 o'clock, right in that window, you can get very sleepy. Okay, this is what's called the postprandial dip. Prandial, P-R-A-N-D-I-A-L. Scientists argue that it's due to the fact that your metabolizing your lunch generates heat, warms you up, makes you a little sleepy. Could have something to do with circadian rhythms. We see the dip in all of these, right, this, at this time. So... Little word to the wise, this is the worst time. You should be taking college classes, okay? Unless you're on caffeinated products. At seven hours, it's a little later. At five hours of sleep a night, at four hours of sleep a night, less than five minutes, they're going to fall asleep. Less than two and a half minutes, they're going to fall asleep at 1.30. If you pulled an all-nighter and got no sleep the night before, look at this. You see this right here? You see this broken line? That pretty much means that this person fell asleep before they could even close the door. Okay, they're out like a rock. Okay, so this simple measure just shows you how sleep deprived you are. The multiple sleep latency test.